2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Welcome everyone, thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Doris Burke. Also joining us from the sidelines, David Aldridge. We'll see the New York Knicks taking on the Boston Celtics. And so off the tip, it's New York. So a look at our starters for the Knicks. They've got Anthony. Steve Novak is out there with Stoudemire. And there's Landry Fields. And it's Davis in at the point. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. Just five to shoot. The rebound by Fields. Listen, he knows he should have made that shot. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. Man, yeah, that one's Davis. good by Davis. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. And so it's the Knicks getting on the board first. Round kicks to Smart. Outside Tatum. And a miss there on the triple. Just a, enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. Oh, and a jam by Anthony. You know, power and finesse. That is the essence of Carmelo Anthony's offensive brilliance. Outside Tatum. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. That will not get it done. He's 0 for 2. Boy, that's 0 for 3 in the early going. Just a little out of sync. And stolen by Williams. Round with it. Now Anthony defending. Down low. Tatum. And the dunk by Tatum. I think Brown demonstrating he's got a great understanding of the game. He keeps his head moving, his eyes open, so he can spot the open man. Now here is Davis. Pass to Stottom. Williams with the block. And he recovers it. And he overshot that one, missing. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Alder. I caught up with Coach Mike Woodson. Talk to me about the importance of protecting the rim, challenging opponents at the top of the jump, and making it difficult for them to convert easy baskets. But to have a chance of that, they have to expend energy getting back in transition which will help close down those driving lanes. So guys will see where their energy lies throughout this game. Okay, David, much appreciated. One. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. Well, I just love how Marcus Smart plays the game of basketball. He's aggressive, he's intelligent, and he doesn't mind getting under your skin. Now, here is Fields. New York moving the ball around. Five on the clock. Three-pointer. No good on that one. So the Celtics will take it the other way. We're about three minutes into this first quarter. Brown outside. The rebound by Fields. New York with the ball. They trail by one. To the inside. Knocked away. And stolen by Williams. You're smart. And the rejection by Stoudemire. Smart against Davis. Out to Anthony. They get a hand on it. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. 
And an early swap like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. Davis against Smart. Outside Tatum. And it goes down two points. I think there's a strength that belies that frame of Jason Tatum. He just powers right through right there. Knicks trail by three. Davis with it. Pass to Novak. Anthony with it. Over Tatum, hits the jump hook. Now just such a high percentage look, but with Mello, it's almost just a given. Tough to stop. Smart deciding where to go with it. Outside Tatum. Off target from outside. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. The pass to Anthony. Now here is Fields. Throws it up high, and it's Stoudemire with the jam. Stoudemire is just excellent timing on these alley-oops. It has that great connection with his teammates. Lob it up, and he'll take care of the rest. Now here's Smart. Here's Horford into the lane. Brown against Fields. And Brown throws it down hard. Oh, my goodness, Brown. Finishes off the drive, not simply laying it in, but a message of authority on the dunk. Davis dishes to Fields. Kicks to Stoudemire. Anthony against Williams. Anthony can't hit. The Celtics with the lead. Now here's Tatum. Driving the lane. Carmelo Anthony comes up with the rebound. I think he's got to settle down because right now it feels like he's rushing, like he's forcing some shots. This quarter he has been completely bothered. Now here is Davis. Two free throws Austin. coming up and they call the shooting foul. Williams. And Davis Jesus. all energy. First Big physical foul. point guard with first that shoot ball. first mentality. This is his first free throw of the game. Baron Davis, two shots. And he makes the first. So one for two that time at the strike. Well, a little shaky from the line, and instead of putting them in front, he's only able to tie it up. Davis against Smart. Anthony on the double team. It's stolen by Anthony. Stoudemire outside. Davis with it. Williams picks him up. And Davis, here we go. And no good. Good work defensively by Smart. And already they take out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the back. Outside Tatum. Hooked away. It's stolen by Anthony. Here's Davis, feeds it to Stoudemire, and stolen by Horford. Here's Tatum, Anthony with the block. Uh, Mello just reading the play the right way, putting the extra effort to come up with such a nice block. 
And a closer look here at the hustle stance for the Celtics. They've come out in attack mode on the defensive end. They've applied pressure and forcing turnovers. And they've taken advantage of the turnovers they've caused, getting a lot of their offense straight off their defense. He gets it in there. Steve what a terrific Levin. pass. Work the ball inside and create a good look for your teammate. So timeout, the Celtics timeout. call timeout. They're first. And with their offense sputtering, coaches got to get them back on track. And to me, they're just taking too many tough shots. And when they do get an easy one, the confidence just isn't there. So Boston going with almost an entire new group. Daniel Tice is checked in for Williams. Williams comes in for Al Horford. Derek White's checked in for Jalen Brown. And it's Pritchard in for Smart. New York. And then for New York. Jared Jeffers, he's checked in for Steve Novak. Shepard comes in for Landry Fields. And Bibby subbed in for Baron Davis. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. Yeah, gets a finger on it, but just can't quite come up with the steal. But a really good read on his part, being disruptive at the defensive end right now. Now, here's Tice. Williams passes to Tice. Inside. It's in the bucket for his fourth field goal. Shooting in a four of nine clip. They are just killing him on the interior. Passes it to Jeffries. Now Shumpert. Pass to Stottom. A shot, no good. White with the defensive effort. Here's Pritchard. Shumper with some nice D. New York trailing. Bibby for three. That's no good. Misses his first shot of the night. Here's White. It's rebounded by New York. Outside Shumper. It's Carmelo Anthony on the way, guarded by Tatum. And Stoudemire, the bucket on the assist by Anthony. Assist goes Stoudemire's got it all tied up now for the Knicks. White the pass to Williams. Tatum kicks to White. Tice trying to break free and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's his first. one is on Stoudemire. No question, he got bumped on that shot. The Celtics have shot just one free throw early, one for one of the games. At the line for two. And both free throws, good for White. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Here's Bibby. And that one is good. Mike and they Bibby. repeatedly froze inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Pass to Tatum. To the middle. And he banks in the lane. And the Celtics lead by two. Yeah, what a great decision by Jason Tatum. That passing ability is important to complement his scoring ability. For three, Bibby. They get it again. Anthony. That one's all good. Now he's three for five from the field. This guy is putting his fingerprints all over the game in this quarter. He has flat out dominated the offensive end. Outside Williams. And the rejection by Stoudemire. Basket here gets them back in front. And it's been a long time coming, partner. Offensive rebound, and so the ball's out of bounds. Shumper touched it last. One thirty-one left in the first quarter. Pritchard passes to Williams. Outside, White. Puts it up. Nails the wide open jump shot. And so here is New York trailing by two. 
Anthony dishes to Bibby. Puts up a three. He can't get it to go. And the Celtics going the other way now. Here's Tatum. Lennox pull it in. Stoudemire's got six rebounds in the game. This shot's just, it's not there right now with this team leading. Perhaps, you know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. Yeah, that's what you can do when you've got a great handle. Anthony is always able to put it on the deck and get to the rim. White left side. Tice trying to break free. And it's White missing. New York with the ball. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Shumpert passes to Anthony. Dishes it to Bibby. Some nice passing by New York here. Shot clock at six. Here's Shumpert. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Shumpert, no problem. Rising to the rim, drawing the foul right there. The Knicks shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. So he gets them both. 12 seconds left in the first. Tatum deciding where to go with it. It's a floater. You can never discount the range and the wingspan that Melo brings. He can bother a lot of shots. Carmelo Anthony getting it done for the New York Knicks. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And guys, what's your take on the Knicks so far? Guys, I love their defense in that first period. They were in position and just challenging shots. Well, I think they combined great intelligence with great effort, and you can see the results. Here are the five New York has to start here in the second. Jeffrey's out there with Stoudemire. Then there's Amon Shepard. Then it's Anthony, and it's Bibby in at the one spot. Oh, and the jam by Tatum. And I tell you, this guy is capable of some amazing finishes. Jason Tatum, my goodness. And that was a great replay we just saw of our mobile one block. And this is why coaches stress the importance of defense. Big block there in this close game. Now here's Tatum following the miss by Carmelo Anthony. And he gets the bucket. Well, Jason Tatum has proven he can score at the NBA level, but you want to see him share the basketball pretty fast. Bibby passes the jump. Back to Bibby. Takes the three. New York, no good that time either. The Celtics with the lead. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. Here's Pritchard. That's good from 17 feet away. Pritchard's got four this quarter. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Bibby misses. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. Tatum passes to Tice. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Tatum's got three assists in the game. Here is Bibby, the pass to jump. Shot to stop the run. He takes it up and Elon lays it in. Shumper. And just a commendable effort from Shumper, taking that right into the teeth of the defense. Tenacious, strong player who is good at drawing contact. Here's Pritchard. To the paint. Williams gets the bucket. Williams, Williams has got the lead back up to six now for the Celtics. Oh, great ball movement there. For those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Anthony against Tice. Stoudemire, no good. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. Here's Pritchard, Bibby covering. That's good, and he's now three for four from the field. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. Good timing. They're really struggling offensively. 
sometimes it just feels like misses become contagious. He wants to settle his guys down right now. So Boston going with almost an entire new group. Robert Williams is checked in for Daniel Tice. Horford comes in for Williams. Jalen Brown's checked in for Tatum. And Smart subbed in for Pritchard. And then for New York, Steve Novak, he's checked in for Jeffries. Andre Fields comes in for Anthony. Davis is subbed in for Mike Bibby. Now, here is Fields. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Shumpert, no good. Celtics leading by eight. On the wing, Brown. Good by Shumpert. Brown, the pass to Horford. Horford, double team. Pocket four. Here's Brown and the rejection by Stoudemire. And here's Fields on the wing, Shumpert. Outside, Davis. Back to Shumpert. For the three. Horford with the rebound. Here's the Celtics with the ball. It's a 12-2 run here. Good pace. Shepard against Brown. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Fields against White. Now Fields. And it's out of bounds. That is touched by White. Down to five on the shot clock. And their offense has all but disappeared this quarter. Shooting in the low 30s for the game. They had some success in that first quarter, but not much since then. Well, that's an example of the strength of Marcus Smart. He barrels into the defense in order to pick up the foul. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Knicks trail by 10. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. And here's Davis for three. Good on the three-point shot. Davis has got six. Listen, even average three-point shooters are going to make that shot. Defense must be better. Brown outside. Goes up again. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Landry Field. Boy, you have got That's to appreciate how hard Jalen Brown goes. Amazing ball. how he gets defenders to foul him when he's going up with his shot. And Brown drops them both. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Fields with it. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And it's Davis missing. And battling hard on the glass. They hold the advantage here so far. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. New York called for the foul. How exciting is Jalen Brown as a basketball player? This guy is a skilled forward who loves showing off that ability to dump the basketball. And just a much better job of attacking and getting to the line here in the second quarter. Didn't have a single attempt in the first. Fields with the three. Rebound, Boston. It's stolen by Davis. And he goes strong Landry with the one-handed jam. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play. Then the impact stuff. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. Now, here's Brown. He has six, and it's off the back rim. No good. Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. Davis against Williams. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. The Knicks have been successful on three of their four free throw attempts up to this point. Baron Davis taking two shots.
And the first one at the line is good. And he makes both free throws. And so White will bring it up for Boston. They've led by as many as 11 points. Trying to break that ice cold streak and foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Well, you've got to appreciate the athleticism of Jalen Brown. This guy's a quick penetrator who forces defenses to get physical with him. For Boston, they have an exceptional shooting free throws tonight, going nine for nine. No good on the free throw. Well, pro probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. Knicks trail by eight. Now, here is Fields. There's the dish to Shumpert. Passes to Stoudemire. Here's Davis. Back to Stoudemire. Over Smart. New York, no good that time either. Well, they get it to the high percentage area, and then it all goes wrong from there. Here's White. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks will take it the other way. And so here is New York. Eight point game. Davis dishes to Nova. He kicks it to Fields. White against Shumper. And there's a whistle that goes on him on Shumper. That's foul number two for him. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. Team foul. It's Williams high post. Third foul in the half, and that's the risk you take leaving him out there. For Boston, they have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. 15 foul. At the line, Robert Williams. At the line for two. First free throw is good. You know, he just plays with such tenacity on both ends. You know, Williams is a rising talent who wants to prove he belongs. Knicks trail by 10. And the foul on Marcus Smart. That is his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Davis against Smart. Novak kicks to Davis. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Novak. New York needs to get off a shot. Well, Brown taking away the shooter's airspace. Effectively crowd scores and gets them out of their comfort zone. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Alden. Thank you, Kevin. The Celtics made the Eastern Conference Finals three times over four seasons. But last season, injuries and COVID protocols knocked them down a peg. Ownership and management are patiently staying the course. With the young star talent, this team still has room to improve from within. Guys, back to you. Well, their upside in a lot of people's view remains. David, thanks. Now here's White. Come to me, come to me. And the rejection by Stoudemire. They retain possession. Here's Smart. Can't connect from long distance. Davis surveying the floor. Pass to Stoudemire. Williams with the block. Well, the reach I'm of afraid. Williams I'm is afraid. outstanding. He uses it to perfection to deny shooters. Inside. Williams in the post. Headed by Stoudemire. Outside, smart. Brown kicks to White. Williams passes to Brown. Here's White. Kept alive by Boston. Here's Williams. Excellent D there from Stoudemire. 
Knicks trail by eight. Outside, Davis. Here's the lob to the hoop, and Stoudemire slams it in. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are pumped up. Now here's White. Brown outside. On to White from the arc. Offensive rebound, Williams. It's good. He scores. That's his first basket after missing his first two attempts. Now one for three. Yeah, hard trying to keep Williams off the board. He out. makes it a mission Nick. to keep possessions alive. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. So Boston going with almost an entire new group. Daniel Tice is checked in for Williams. Williams comes in for Al Horford. Jason Tatum, he's checked in for Derek White. And it's Pritchard in for Smart. Jared Jeffries, he's checked in for the Knicks. Anthony comes in for Shump. Now here's Davis. Eight points for him. Stoudemire, the pass to Carmelo. He takes it in. And the call on the shot that sends it into the line. Yeah, he's just so tough to contain. With Anthony, sometimes all you can do is send him to the free throw line. Shooting the next shot, their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. Two shots. And the first one drops. You know, Carmelo Anthony, problematic for the defense. He spends so much time at the line, keeps you on a string. Both free throws, good from Anthony. Celtics leading by six. Brown outside. Happy to see that one drop, shooting a poultry two for nine. Well, this is where the powerful frame and explosive athleticism of Jalen Brown becomes a problem for the opponent. Nicely done. New York, no good that time either. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Tatum passes to Pritchard. Tatum with it. He's against Jeffries. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. How about the confidence from this young gun? Jason Tatum's length is tough to deal with inside, guys. At the line for two shots. Shooting two. First one falls for him. You get the sense that Jason Tatum has a drive to be great. This is a young player who doesn't lack for confidence. I love watching him play.
And so Tatum nails them both. And it's Davis with the ball for the New York Knicks. Trailing by 10. He dishes it to Fields. Stoudemire, bounce pass. Takes the 13-footer off the left rim and out. Anthony's gone 4 of 10 here. Has six misses. Here's Tatum. 12 points for him. job in the low post. Tatum's got the lead up to 12 now for the Celtics. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. And the first half is now in the books. Celtics lead by 12. We're going to step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after our halftime. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Boston found themselves in a close game in the first. And they kept it close, trailing by, at the most, four points. And that'll do Wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. You know, guys, Jason Tatum has really been making it happen. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far, unstoppable. Smart in the backcourt with Brown to his side. Jason Tatum is out there with Horford, and it's Williams at the five down low. And that's the group in there for Ime Udoka as we begin the second half. Anthony's shot is off. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And the shot is good. Horford's got the first points to start out the third quarter for Boston. Oh, don't you love how unselfish Marcus Smart is? Sees the open man, whips the pass over in just the right amount of space. It's Fields on the wing. For Williams, fields the pass to Stoneman. It's hauled in by Brown. Brown's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Tatum going inside. The Knicks pull it in. Here's Fields. That one falls coming off Anthony's feet. Fields has got his second bucket of the game to go. You know, you love your star players making others better, and Mello with the vision there. Smart passes to Williams. He can't get that one to fall. Excellent D there from Stoudemire. And they're one of four here to start the second half. Tatum against Anthony. To the inside, Williams with the steal. against Davis. It's Brown on the wing. Celtics passing it around. Outside, Horford. Pocket six. Tatum drives in. Williams kicks to Smart. Here's Horford. Boston again missing. Knicks trail by 12. Outside, Davis. Stoudemire outside. Outside, Fields drills it from outside. Landry Fields. Fields has got seven. You know, maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot that he can afford to give. Smart passes to Tatum. Buries the long-range jumper. 17 points in the game. Well, Jason Tatum with the answer from three. That's how you stop an opponent's momentum. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Horford against Davis. Back to Anthony. Rebounded by Smart. Smart's got his fourth rebound in this one. Williams. 
right side Williams right wing Williams and Williams is right there Williams has got the lead up to 14 now for the Celtics a hard blue collar work ethic on display this guy just beating everyone to the ball Novak kicks to fields the three from Davis the rebound by the Celtics Horford's got his fourth rebound in this one Tatum passes the ball. That shot off the mark. Now the next take it the other way. Boy, a forgettable night for him, but thankfully his teammates have played well overall. Looking to end his cold spell, and it's good on the way in. And the Celtics lead by 16. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stance here for the Celtics? Defensively, they played with a lot of energy, and the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. The number of second-chance points they've gotten has also been big. They've kept so many possessions alive with offensive rebounds. Smart against Stoudemire. Smart dishes to Tatum. And here is Horford. Brown outside. Shot from 12. There's Williams, and Williams with the stuff. Yeah, something that Williams does so well as soon as he has inside position. He just goes for the finish. Davis kicks to Fields. Trying to end the drought. Boom, he jams it straight down. And he takes it right at the man who just scored on it. That's the way to answer, Ben, with an in-your-face stuff. Outside Tatum from past the arc. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Smart's got his fourth assist in this one. Really in a good position thanks to the accuracy from beyond. The pass to Carmelo. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Anthony's got 13. Wow, something's brewing, guys. The three-pointers just continue to flow. Williams passes to Tatum. And foul yes. on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one's on Anthony. Well, you like to see Jason Tatum be aggressive even when the defense gets physical. And some changes here for the Celtics. Daniel Tice is checked in for Robert Williams. And Derek White subbed in for Brown. Then for the Knicks, Jared Jeffries, who's checked in for Stoudemire. Mon Shumpert has come in for Landry Fields. And Bibby subbed in for Davis. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today. And there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. The three from Anthony. A shot missing. So the Celtics will take it the other way. Left side, smart. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And it's going to go on Amon Shump personally. Well, what phenomenal work Second deep inside the post. Smart willing and able to get himself to the line. And so he hits both. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Outside jump. Shot is good off Elon the back Schumper. room and in. He's got six. Boy, you just love Shumpert's pre-shot routine. Gets his feet set, ready to catch and release. Beautiful. Ties, no good. Knicks trail by 18. Now Bibby. Passes it to Jeffers. Poke loose. Anthony kicks to Shumpert. Shoots over White. Shumpert, no good. And not a night he's going to want to remember. Just not really able to score the basketball. Out of bounds. New York takes possession. Nick Williams is checked in for Boston. Nick Richard comes in for Smart. And a switcher also for New York. Stoudemire's checked in. Anthony with it. 13 points in the game. Pass to Stoudemire. Williams. That misses off the back. And here's Boston. They're on a 16 to 7 run. Here's Pritchard. 
Six points for him. Oh, and he almost had a four-point play right there. He'll go to the line with a chance for three. And it's going to go on Naman Shumpert. He's gone two for two at the line so far. And he sinks the second. And he nails the third. Knicks trail by 21. Anthony dishes to Bibby. Back to Anthony. Stoudemire, bounce pass. Here's Shumper. That shot missing. Excellent D there from Williams. Austin leading by 21. Here's Tatum. Second chance shot. Rebounded by Anthony. And so it's Anthony bringing it up for New York. Here's Shumper. Here's Novak. And it's sent back by White. That's going to be out of bounds. The next will retain possession. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. Anthony taking his time here. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. You know, he's so tough to defend without fouling. Melo puts the defenders in tough spots. Good on both. They're making this a runaway. And the only question for me right now is just how big the lead will eventually become. Tatum passes to Pritchard. Five to shoot. Kicks it to Williams. Here's White. The Knicks pull it in. Novak's got rebound number five here tonight. Anthony down low. Tatum on him. Anthony's shot is off. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. And you know what? They keep calling his number, and they're simply trying to get him out of this funk. Knicks trail by 19. Yo, watch it. Stoudemire outside. Here's Shumper. And again, it's the Knicks missing. Boy, it's been a struggle in this quarter, and the team needs more from him. There's no doubt. Here's Pritchard, and that one drops for him. Pritchard's got eight points. Well, this guy has been efficient and effective all night. That IQ has time been out, on out. display. New York calls timeout. And with their offense sputtering, coaches got to get them back on track. And to me, they're just taking too many tough shots. And when they do get an easy one, the confidence just isn't there. Davis has checked in for Bibby. On defense, the Celtics. A 21-point lead, the biggest in the game. Remaining in the third. And Shumper kicks to Novak. One fifty-two left to play in the third. A shot by Stoudemire, no good. He is just not taking smart shots out there. A pattern he has fallen into tonight. Tatum, no good. Knicks trail by 21. It's Carmelo Anthony on the wing. Light covering on the wing. Shepard looking to get it going. Rebound, Boston. I'll tell you, it's been a struggle for him in this period, and they're struggling as a result. There's 117 left in the third quarter. Second shot opportunity. Tice, no good. Tice has gotten just one of his four attempts from the floor tonight. Here's Anthony. Excellent D there from Williams. Celtics leading by 21. Here's Pritchard. He's got eight. That one, no good. Great D that time from Davis. Outside Anthony. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got his fifth rebound in this one. 
Here's Tatum. And the layup's good off the glass. 24 points for Jason Tatum. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Anthony kicks to jump. There's 25 seconds left here in the third quarter. Just five on the clock. Back to Anthony. Fires the three. And it's Anthony again missing. Here's Pritchard. Tatum on the wing. Over Anthony. Off target. And so it's Boston in very good shape with a 23-point lead at the end of the quarter. And they created a bunch of turnovers with that terrific D. Right back after this break. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? We call that putting it right in the pocket. And he knew what to do with it once it was there. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. On the court for the Knicks, Amon Shumpert is out there with Anthony. Then there's Davis. Then it's Stoudemire. And it's Fields in at the two. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. Well, that's not the guy you want guarding him at the rim. Just too much of a differential in terms of size. For the Knicks, Amari Stoudemire. Shooting one. Free throw, no good for Stoudemire. Celtics leading by 21. Here's White. Shoots it up. It's deflected. Outside, Davis. Some nice passing by New York here. Here's Anthony. And it's blocked by Brown. Wow, twice on the pipe. Jalen Brown with a message for the offense. Pass to Pritchard. Now Tice is guarded by Davis. Another shot. And it's Tice laying it in. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not take care of the defensive glass. Here's Stoudemire. That's tipped. Just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. Here's White. That shot, no good. Great D that time from Davis. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. I don't know if he's tired or what, but he is definitely holding back a little bit, and he has to step his game up right now. And it's Brown missing. Down low, here's Stoudemire, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That free throw, no good. Some changes for Boston. Williams, he's checked in for Daniel Tice. Horford comes in for Williams, and Smart subbed in for Pritchard. Boston leading by 22. Right the pass to Horford. In the corner, Smart with it. There's the pass to Williams. Back to Smart. Williams trying to break free and smart with the basket on the assist by Williams. Not a lot of resistance on the inside and they're taking full advantage. And it's Fields in the corner. Outside Anthony launches a three. Hits it from three point range. That's his second make from distance to Sam after hitting none before that. Passes it to Williams. Dishes to Brown. Looking to get back on track here. A second chance effort. Williams, that's good. Great game for him. Double, double down. 10 points and 13 rebounds. Horford against Anthony. On the wing, Davis. Stoudemire outside. Anthony dishes to Stoudemire. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one on Horford. Wow. 
Wow, he got whacked balls. on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. And after attempting no free throws in the first half, now he's putting the defense back on its heels. Celtics leading by 21. And White kicks to Brown. Outside, Williams. Elbow shot. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And it's Anthony with the ball for New York. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. New York, no good that time either. It's Brown with the drive. How confident is Jalen Brown in his handle? The triple drive through traffic, really nice. Davis against Smart and denied. He sends it right off the glass. Williams trying to break free. Smart misses. Smart's gone two of five from the floor. Smart against Anthony. The dish to Davis. Landry Fields on the wing. Driving to the basket. And there's a nice one-handed slam. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Boy, that's a play you just practice time and time again, and that's the result of the work put in. Count that one. Oh, how about Jalen Brown showing us his touchdown low? Skilled at getting high percentage shots in the paint. Pass to Carmelo. Banked in off the glass. Oh, no. Anthony's got 10 points here in the second half. Well, you love the activity out there. What a play. This guy is busy on the offensive end. Smart passes the Brown. Over Stoudemire. A putback. It's good on the putback. And you can see the second chance points now starting to be a major factor. Anthony against Horford. To the middle. Here's Stoudemire. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Outside, smart. Here's Williams. At basket number six to the stat sheet. He's now six for ten. You know, still a raw talent, but Williams does have a reliable inside game that continues to get better. Time out, time out. New York calls timeout. Nick. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Well, poor rotations, poor communication. There's a lot to figure out right now. And now a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Robert Williams. He's kept a lot of their possessions alive with his work on the offensive glass. You can't measure what that kind of effort means to a team. Not just in terms of the second chances those rebounds create, but also for the example it sets. He's played up to his full potential tonight, and he's been playing to the crowd, too. He loves being the star attraction, even if it doesn't happen on a regular basis. Stauskas kicks to Cornette. It's tipped. It's stolen by Stoudemire. Right side, Jones. Now the feed to Miller. And stolen by Williams. And they're moving it up. Stauskas, the pass to Neesmith. Nice ball movement by Boston. Here's Stauskas. Driving in, and it's blocked. And they get it back over Jeffries. Stauskas' shot is off. Now, here is Bibby. He's guarded closely. Ball's knocked loose. Now, here's Neesmith. He dishes it to Williams.
Here's Stauskas. Covered by Miller. Pass to Neesmith. Shot clock at three. Over Stoudemire. And that one hits back iron. And Jones has it in the corner. Miller, the pass to Stoudemire. He kicks it to Jeffers. Now the pass to Jones. They could use a bucket. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got his 18th rebound here tonight all over the place. Man, he just elevates and powers in the one-hand. Mm -hmm. Textbook. And here's Bibby. Pass to Miller. Inside. Jones kicks to Miller. Pass to Bibby. Beyond the arc. That's good, and it's Miller with the assist. Bibby. And how about the shooting stroke of Bibby? His three-point shot is as money as it gets. Here's Stauskas. Bibby covering. Jacks up a three. Here's Williams, and it's Williams finishing it off. That's what he gives you, a big-time presence on the glass. And you know what, Greg? Once he gets his hands on it, he's not even thinking about kicking it out. <laughs> no reason to do so there. He was going to leave, no doubt. Well, get it inside Mike to a quality Bibby. scorer and let this guy do his thing. Back to Stauskas. From the wing. And the shot no good. A bit short. Stauskas is gone. One for five from the field. 20%. Count it. Good. And yeah, Bibby Jones. does a great job uh, within their offense, especially when it comes to spotting the open man. Stauskas, the pass to Neesmith. 146 left to play in the final quarter. On the wing, Williams. Pass to Neesmith. Shoots the three. No good that time. The Knicks go the other way with it. Now Bibby. Here he goes. And it's blocked. And it's out of bounds to New York. They'll retain New possession. York ball. So New York going with almost an entire new group here. Steve Novak, he's checked in for Jeffries. Anthony comes in for Jones. Landry Fields checking in for Miller. Davis is subbed in for Mike Bibby. Metal, metal, metal. Ah. One twenty-four left to play here in the fourth. Down low, here's Stoudemire. That one falls, coming Amari off Anthony's feet. Anthony's got three assists now in this one. And Stoudemire just moves so well in that pick and roll, just cuts the D to shreds with that set. Here's Tatum, and the dunk by Tatum. And this is what we've come to expect from this guy, right? Not only making a ton of shots, but being efficient while doing so. Here's Davis. And it's blocked. I'll tell you, don't forget about Marcus Smart's vertical. Twice on the pipes, rejects that shot. Williams against Stoudemire. Horford kicks to Brown. The Celtics working the ball around now. Williams passes to Brown. And the dunk by Brown. And once they smell blood in the water, you can see the killer instinct take over. And you want to save your best for last. Tonight, they've done that and then some. Fields against Brown. And he drives in. Williams with the block. And the pass is smart. And 
so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. It was a tale of two teams tonight, one that was in total control operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alden, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.